today you are going to see me complete the worst and the hardest first room zombies map in Call of Duty Zombies history. And you guys can see by the title and the thumbnail exactly what that map is. It is Bus Depot from Transit in Black Ops 2 Zombies. So there's a Zombies YouTuber who's doing pretty well. You should definitely go and check him out. He's called Chicken Teller. And um, he um, did this challenge. Um, he was trying to get to round 10. And let's just say he struggled quite a lot. And I thought, hmm, I can do this no problem. Bus Depot is not a hard map from what I remember. Um, the first room should be okay. There's plenty of space to move around, of course, right? Right? Well, um, no, this challenge is not for the faint-hearted. So you can clearly see from the gameplay that the first round, maybe even the second round, are fairly simple. Zombies are coming in fairly slow. None of them are running. They're just walking slowly to the barriers. No problem whatsoever. You can kill them very, very quickly, very, very easily. However, when you get to round three, the lava pops up from the floor. Um, so you've got fire everywhere um, and the zombies start getting quicker and quicker and quicker. Third round's not so bad as such. But things start to get much more challenging very, very quickly. And I thought, maybe Chicken Teller is right. Maybe this is probably the hardest small room challenge of all time. And definitely the worst one because I didn't enjoy doing this at all. In most of my attempts doing this, I got to, let's say, between round four and seven. Um, when I first started doing this anyway and the main reason for it was was simply because you can't train in this map to save your life there's literally zero space and the only weapons at your disposal are your grenades your knife the Olympia and the M14 and maybe the M1911 if you choose to keep it and that's all you've got there's no perks there's two hits and you're dead that's all you've got going for you in this first room challenge it's extremely difficult and extremely depressing to do because bus depot is a very ugly looking map it's um, gray boring miserable and there's just nothing to do no space it's horrible and when you get hit twice that is it it's game over so literally you have to be a professional zombies player to even get anywhere near to a high round so I did many, many attempts in one sitting. I was playing for about four hours of my first sitting. Yes, you heard that correctly. I was playing Bus Depot for four fucking hours. I was not a happy bunny. It was absolute hell from start all the way to finish. It was insane, completely insane. I kept dying over and over and over again. And often it was always on the same rounds, round six or round seven. And I was getting fed up of it. So I had to stop playing for a bit. I thought, you know what, I'll take a few hours break, just watch some YouTube and relax for a bit. Because it got to a point where if I carried on, I would have gone cuckoo. I was going to go insane because this is a rage inducing challenge. And I don't even know what I was thinking, even putting this on the YouTube poll. I know you guys voted for it. That's why I'm doing it but to say this is this is gonna be the first time and the last time i ever do this is an understatement of the year i mean you guys are very lucky actually because you only have to see the highlights of me doing this you'd have to see full gameplay i'm just showing you snippets of some rounds and how it was all going and as you can see most of the time on this map you get trapped there's not enough space to move around and unless you're a pro trainer like i'm definitely not you're not getting anywhere and you have to use grenades to make the zombies into crawls but that can also be dangerous because they can trap you and um, cause other problems when there's fast zombies behind you it's just unbelievably difficult and as you can see in this gameplay there's just death after death after death so after i so i took my break came back to it still kept dying and then i thought you know what this has to be it i did why my last attempt i was like you know what if i only get to round six round seven that's what's going up on youtube but i really went for it this time and as you can see in the highlights i was finishing round after round doing really really well then i was thinking you know what we're at round five round six this is where things get difficult but lord and behold i was completely easy i was no problem killing the last zombie conquering it all and then all of a sudden i was on round eight round nine round ten and i was really really shocked i managed to actually get to round ten on this challenge it was unbelievably annoying and stressful though but i was really happy that i managed to get this far and then around 11 yeah it wasn't going much further than this because you've got to remember guys the olympia and the m14 are terrible weapons so killing zombies effectively past round 10 with those weapons anyway is a nightmare so Getting anywhere above round 10 is a big achievement. I'm really proud that I managed to do it. But I'm never, ever, 
ever doing this again. Ever, ever, ever. And if you guys can beat round 11, then please go ahead and um, let me know if you have done that or will do that. Um, I beat Chicken Teller by one round, so yay me, but never, ever doing that again. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.